Today I'm going to replace the, the armature and shaft on my trolling motor. Had a mishap on the lake last weekend, ran into some rocks, and after I got it back and, and took a look at it, I noticed that we had some vibration, and I took it apart and noticed that the shaft was bent. So I ordered the parts from Minn Kota, and today we're going to work on replacing that. This is the armature brush plate kit. So we're going to replace the armature and the brush plate. First thing that we need to do is remove our propeller. We got the weedless propeller on here. Does a fantastic job. So we're going to pull that out of the way. You definitely want to unplug your trolling motor. Don't want any electricity going through there while we're doing this. We're going to take the pin. I'm going to take the pin out. I'll give it a little tap with my hammer. Knock that pin out, set it off to the side. And then now I'm going to find a socket and a wrench, take these bolts out. So I'm going to remove these two bolts. They're 5 16 size or 8 millimeter, depending if you like the uh, standard or metric system there. Loosening up quite a bit already. Pull these bolts out. Look at that, came right out. Ooh, we got a little water in there. Got our seal here. And we got our, our bolts. that out got our front seal and take this over to the workbench and it's got some strong magnets that hold it in place there we'll set that off to the side and then the whole problem here is this shaft got bent on the, on the armature there. So we're gonna replace it. As you can see, the old has got quite a bit of wear, has quite a bit of use. So we got the new one from Minn Kota. We're gonna get it installed. Now you can look to see the difference there between the wear from, from the old unit and the new. And then, of course, the wear on the shaft and the fact that it's, uh, it's got a bent shaft there. Now we got some moisture in there. So we're gonna clean that out. with some paper towels and then we're going to put new seals in it okay we're going to remove the brush plate the kit came with that new armature and a new brush plate and brushes along with the the new gaskets and seals to do a rebuild on the lower unit so we're going to take out got two torx heads screws holding everything into, into place here. So we're going to unscrew these. And pull out our brush plate. And we got the brush plate. We've got to stick the 
connectors through. They've got these little tabs that hold them in position. So I'm gonna stick them through like that. And then of course the grooved edge there is gonna go against the spring, like so. Curved edge towards the armature. And now we're gonna stick the uh, connectors on. So then these, uh, got a little spread out here. So we're gonna, we're gonna crimp them back in a little bit. And that way when we put it on there, it's gonna have a nice secure fit. Back, back on the brush plate. Okay, and then we're going to shove the brush plate back in, back in, put some screws in it, hold it in place. Okay, now we're going to replace the shaft seals. We're going to take a screwdriver and pry the shaft seal out. Then we're gonna pay attention to which direction the seal is facing. And then so we're gonna install our new seal. I'm gonna put just a little dielectric silicone grease on it to lube it up. So I'm gonna have it facing the same way. And I'm gonna shove it, shove it down there in position. And then we've got our outer seal and it's got the uh, washer faces out. And then I'm gonna lube that up again with some dielectric grease. I'm gonna shove that also down. In the hole. I'm gonna take a little socket and you can find a, a socket that'll help you uh, seat these seals. Now, <clears throat> on the bolts that hold together, there's a couple little O-rings came with the kit. So we're gonna put some new O-rings. It's also good to put a little dielectric grease on there, to help those slide there into position. So we'll slide it right down here by the head. One of them, the other one, same thing, put a little dielectric grease on it. Take our old O-ring off the bolt. Once we have that, so we've got our, our new seals that are gonna go through the shaft on the armature, and then our bolts that hold it together are gonna be put in like that with the O-rings. They're gonna seal out the water. And then the kit also came with a new O-ring that's gonna go around this edge. So we're gonna take the old O-ring out and off. And we're gonna replace it with the new O-ring. And again, we're gonna apply some dielectric grease to that O-ring. That'll help hold it into position. And also it helps everything slide in where it needs to be, it helps prevent corrosion. And then we're gonna put around right there, around on the edge. So we've got that ready to go. And so we're gonna slide it here on the armature. The bolts go through these grooves right here at the side between the magnets. And then it's a good idea, again, to lube up that shaft with a little dielectric grease. Helps everything slide there into position. And then we've got our, uh, our washer and key there. Hold that in place. And then we also have a gasket that's gonna sit between here 
and the case. So here's the tricky part <clears throat> is getting it installed into position. In the Wait. Car. I'm gonna put the armature in. I've got the new brush plate installed. I've got to hold these brushes back with my fingers. And then we're going to get, get that installed. So the brushes go up against there. And then so the bearing slides and holds into position. So we got new brushes, new armature. And then now we're gonna get our new, our magnetic casing. It's not new, but um, it, it looks almost identical from each side, but it's got a beveled edge and a flat edge. We wanna put the flat edge towards the gasket and this beveled edge is gonna help seat the O-ring that goes on the front. And then this is gonna to try to snap together. So we're gonna to try to wanna to put it, put it in and hold it and get it placed on that brushes to go on the armature. There, perfect. And now we're gonna turn it so we have our, our holes for our bolts to go at the top and the bottom and the bolts with the new O-rings. And we're gonna slide it over the shaft with that beveled edge helping to seat the O-ring. And then you want to cinch it up evenly. Our pin through the shaft. That's going to hold our propeller into position. You want to make sure that it's spaced evenly. Just going to give it a little tap, 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 tap. Make sure it's spaced evenly. And that way we can line it up inside the propeller. All right, we'll get it installed with the washer. It's got the locking nut with the neoprene insert, and that's gonna help keep that on those threads so it doesn't loosen off, half inch wrench. And run it down. Plug our motor back in. And we'll test it out. Perfect. 